All right, good Monday afternoon, everyone. It's Eric here with a quick weather update for you as we hit the 2 o'clock hour. It is uh, kind of a damp day out there. The rain has been fairly light for the most part, except uh, in the southern part of our viewing area. That was Columbiana. Here's Niles with our Window World weather cameras. It's an overcast day. It sure is muggy, but it's not that warm thanks to the clouds and the little bit of rain that's been pushing through. Right now, the steadiest and heaviest of the rain is pushed out of our viewing area, heading over east of I-79 and PA. But we still have some residual showers in parts of Columbia, and Mahoning, Trumbull, and Mercer counties, parts of Lawrence County as well. And I suspect a lot of us are going to see at least a little bit of rain from time to time for the rest of the day today. But most of it, again, on the light side. There's a shield of, of fairly light rain still out here across northwest Ohio that's moving mostly north of east. But still, again, we may get clipped a little bit uh, by a little more rain before the afternoon is through. Here's our high-resolution future cast showing, again, the threat for a few raindrops right through sunset this evening. It's no kind of washout today. And in addition to the rain we got over the weekend, yeah, this is pretty good news. If you have outdoor plans, not so much, but of course we do need the rain. Now we're going to get a break, it looks like, for a lot of the overnight into tomorrow morning before thunderstorm chances increase again tomorrow. Boy, it's muggy though. Dew points again today, 70 to 75 degrees. It's going to be some time before we can shake these dew points. Now we are in the slight risk for severe weather tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Uh, it's a possibility that we see a scattering of severe thunderstorms, mostly, I think, after 2 p.m. Uh, so this is something to keep an eye on. Of course, we'll have plenty of additional updates on that and much, much more coming up this evening on 21 News at 6, as well as my in-depth weather video here online, Weather for Weather Geeks. You can watch that on our station website, my weather blog, ericwfmj.com, and your Storm Tracker 21 mobile app, and I'll have that uh, online by about 8.30. Hope you have a great rest of this Monday. I'll see you tonight.